Hey guys, I'm Tris, and today I'll be reviewing Blood Will Be Spilled for the Nintendo Switch. I just want to say a quick thank you to Addy Games for sending myself a copy of the game. Anyways, let's jump into that review. Blood Will Be Spilled is a spaghetti western platformer with turn-based combat. This is coming to the Nintendo Switch on the 20th of February. In Blood Will Be Spilled, you play as a mosquito bounty hunter called Jack, who is on the path of revenge. While searching for the gangster Shorty, you stumble into a nefarious scheme, leaving you heavily outgunned and outnumbered. You must now hunt down the Calaveras Gang. The levels in Blood Will Be Spilled are known as chapters, each containing a passage to the overall story. While playing through, you will also find letters which reveal story for the game, alongside meeting NPCs who further explain the story. Playing through the game, you will encounter basic platforming, straightforward puzzles, and tactical turn-based battles. Now, progressing through each chapter is very straightforward, which I enjoyed since the map size wasn't overly huge. There is also narration which accompanies your playthrough, which drops hints as to what you are doing. It's quite refreshing to have a game that's map isn't too huge, and actually gives you hints that aren't too much of a giveaway. In Blood Will Be Spilled, hints appear in text form, alongside the button that needs to be used to progress. For example, aim with right stick, shoot with ZR to interact in different ways with the environment. Something I really enjoyed about the gameplay was that if you explored, you were rewarded. For example, finding parts for the legendary gun, El Dorado, health restoration and potions. Also, another thing that I really enjoyed about this was that it made you think about every shot you took and made sure that you reloaded before every battle. In every battle, you must make strategic decisions to ensure your survival. Whether that's using abilities to pierce enemies or the environment, moving behind cover, or positioning yourself over a recently defeated enemy to gain blood. To shoot an enemy, you open the action tab with Y and selecting shoot, you use the right stick to aim, then A to fire. Shooting the head deals more damage. Now movement in battle is great, but at times you could lose where you are, so use the right stick to look around the battlefield. This is something that I found myself frustrated with, as when I was moving around the map in a battle, sometimes I could lose myself. So making sure that I use the right stick, I found myself, but it is something that you shouldn't have to encounter in the first place. Blood is your mana in this game, so be sure to use ability sparingly as you will need to blood suck an enemy to regain it, which you can only do as a finishing move and if you're next to them. Also be sure to make every shot count, as when your barrel is empty, you need to reload, which takes an action point. As I said earlier, puzzles are straightforward, which is great, like this cart which is needed to be moved, so you can use the plunger to detonate the dynamite, which allows you to progress. The platforming in the game is great and I really enjoyed a section where I was running from a spider, running from that spider, I felt so much adrenaline on myself. I was freaking out and trying to avoid every single trap that it laid, whether it was web or making sure I didn't hit my head into the ceiling. Now, mementos are a part of the game I really liked as well. Whether it's a bounty poster or a bust, I like this collectible addition to a game. I like collecting things in games, so this is a big tick in my box. Character progression wise, you can decide on what path Jack takes. Whether it's the good, the bad, or the ugly. Each has a school based benefit, and I overall really enjoy this western reference. There are also other guns which can be purchased at the gun store in the town, which will allow for more power, accuracy, weight, and chamber size. The town has a lot of services to offer. From the bounty office, the gun store, saloon, and more, which is where most quests will be found, and to travel, use this signpost. Let's talk visuals. Everything in the game is hand-drawn, from characters to the environment, and more, it has a spectacular comic book style, which was very enjoyable. There are also stunning cutscenes that I really loved in Blood Will Be Spilled, my favourite being the scene where you confront the wanted criminal Sullivan. My god, is that man mischievous. Seeing comic book style in a cutscene was thoroughly enjoyable, so they did a great job there. Now, the town was my favourite environment visually. Its architectural style is a reason I loved it. Just have a look at the Heart Saloon. Isn't it amazing? There are a few movement glitches and stutters with environment loading, but I'm sure they'll get fixed when the game is released. It isn't something that detracts from the gameplay too much, but it was enough to be a slight annoyance. Audio-wise, I had a great time. The voice acting was brilliant, and I thoroughly enjoyed the music. Also, with the voice lines, sometimes when reading chat, the text from the next line would be spoken, and then, when the next line was read, it would catch up. For example, in the saloon, Jack's text says, Uh-huh. 
understood. But it says so, which is the start of the next speech sequence. Today I'm rating Blood Will Be Spilled 4 out of 5 spoopies. It had fantastic visuals and brilliant cutscenes. Movement in battles wasn't always smooth, but it's something that didn't detract too much from myself. The audio was good, but let down by short loops and the voice bugs, which again, I hope they fix. It was a really fun game. I lost myself in this game so much, and the price is perfect for it as well. Now, just letting you guys know, the average playtime is six to eight hours, but has replayability with its skill tree. Anyways, I hope today's video has helped you decide whether or not you're gonna buy the game. I want to say a quick thank you to Atu Games. I really had a fun time with this game and I couldn't put it down. I didn't want to stop playing. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'm Tris, or the official Phantom TV, and I hope to catch you in the future with another Nintendo Switch review. Hope to see you then.